Welcome back to OrphanCon. So this update is just going to be very brief. We're going to talk about the announcement today and I'm going to touch later on just on the $300 rumor that's been going around that's been jumped on by loads of people. Um, I'll give my thoughts on that. I have, don't have a great deal on it, um, but I'll give you, I'll tell you what my opinion is on that rumor. Now this week's reveal is very small. It's one character model. There's only one image of it and there's not very much details at all so you know games workshop are really bleeding out the information so slowly that as much as i said i would continue to do weekly updates when the announcement came out if it's as small as this and there's not very much to talk about i probably won't do that going forward i'll probably wait until a few different articles have been released so there's enough content to warrant really discussing it so the content that come out today he focuses on this model alone hear ye hear ye vengeance has come to Ulfen Khan. from the woods comes the ruin of the undead i'm the cursed city crier and i bring you news of our salvation and basically what it goes on to say is that this is quelthis the exile i'm not sure, not sure if it's quelthis or calthis the exile after losing her home and family She's come to the cursed city to seek vengeance on those who took everything from her. We hope that they're ready for what they have unleashed. So in general, it just goes on to say that some soul blight vampires laid waste to her clan and she's out for revenge. It also says that she took a massive piece of the Oak of Ages past in order to make arrows to, um, to use against the undead. Now the Oak of Ages past is from the old world traveled through and currently sits in Gairan. It has huge magical properties and that kind of thing. It's quite an interesting subject. If you want me to go into that in a separate video, I absolutely will. But basically that is where her arrows have come from and she is more or less just out for revenge on the Soul Blight vampires. Now from a model perspective, I think it's really cool. It's got a very cool pose on it, got a bow and arrow, and there is also a short sword as well. Other than that, there's really no further information on this character uh, or anything else about Curse City at all. So there's no updates to the map or anything like this. Kalthis has been added into the Age of Sigmar Curse City website, so her model is now viewable there, right next to the other hero character, Jelson Darek. But other than that, so we now have these two heroes. We also have two villains plus the Orphan Watch. So information is being bled out very very slowly and to be honest with you i really hope that they speed things up again in the next few weeks i definitely want to see more gameplay stuff and i want to find out more just about the game in general it's been bled out too slowly for me now just before i go i just wanted to touch on the 300 dollars rumor that's been going on about this game it's been kind of reported by a number of places now i think that there's one original source video so just wanted to give my opinions on that um, first and foremost i just can't see this being 300 dollars that's 180 pounds so that for content wise puts you at the same sort of level as the necromunda dark uprising box pretty much this on the same balance as that now that box is huge and it's got a massive amount in it and the most of what's in it is it's got a colossal amount of terrain now no warhammer quest game previously has had any terrain in the box or anything like that and I really don't expect that to happen this time around either. What I think has happened is either someone has been fed some incorrect information or they've picked up on some real bullshit that sort of found on the internet and they've just run with it. And unfortunately, a number of other YouTubers have been sucked in by that and they've run with it as well. If I were to indulge in the fantasy that maybe it is going to be $300, I would be expecting for there to be a colossal amount of miniatures, so upwards of 100 or again to have a huge amount of terrain but i can't see any of those being the case and um, i would honestly love to see terrain for this so if this was a great big massive box and i know it's really prohibitive for people in terms of price and that kind of thing but i think i'd really latch on to it i love good terrain and if it enhances the gameplay i would really really like it but from that perspective to put it out 300 dollars i think that if they were going to do that they should just release terrain separately. I think that to do it all in one box for that sort of price is so prohibitive on cost for so many people, I think it would be a really bad thing. So, you know, if terrain can be done, make it separate, put it in a separate box, absolutely fine. 
but if it's optional for the gameplay it shouldn't come in that main box it just needs to be sensible on the cost for people so just to sum up for me going into future content for the cursed city i'll take your lead on it if you tell me that you want me to continue these weekly videos i absolutely will um, and what i can do is i can just at some point in the future i'll start to summarize what's come up in the last few weeks so let me know you'll be able to tell from the length of the video um you know if it's less than 10 minutes then it will just be me you know just giving a main a lot like a minor update if it's any more than that it'll be worth something looking into a bit more thanks to everyone who's joined the cursed city facebook group that i've set up there's a link in the description if you want to join us over there and get into the conversation yeah, i'd love to have you over there so thanks for those of you who have joined me over there and i look forward to seeing you more over there soon so thanks for watching guys much appreciated if you're enjoying this cursed city content please consider dropping a subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Ta-da!